Chapter 3 The Idolatry of the Queen of Heaven As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee. But we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto her, as we have done, we and our fathers, our kings, and our princes in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem. For then had we plenty of victuals, and were well, and saw no evil. But since we left off to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things, and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. The Catholic Church prays to a multitude of saints, most notably to the Mother of Jesus known as Mary. One of the most popular prayers to her goes as follows, and I quote, Queen of Heaven, rejoice! The Son whom you merited to bear has arisen as he said. Pray for us to God. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, for the Lord has truly risen. Let us pray, O God, who through the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, gave rejoicing to the world. We pray that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen." Unquote. This practice has no biblical basis whatsoever. In fact, it is blasphemous to pray to anyone other than God. The children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women knead their dough to make cakes to the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods, that they may provoke me to anger. And they forsook the Lord, and served Baal and Ashtoreth. Ashtoreth is a false goddess who is also known to many as the Heavenly Mother that gives life. She is also considered a companion or even the wife of Baal, who is known as the Sun God. Now Ashtaroth takes on three main roles. She is known as the Queen of Heaven, she is a virgin, but yet she is a mother. Long ago, the Queen of Heaven was worshipped by many nations. The Phoenicians, among many others, always associated the Queen of Heaven with the moon. And hath gone and served other gods, and worshipped them, either the sun or moon, or any of the host of heaven, which I have not commanded. The Queen of Heaven is always, in one way or another, portrayed alongside the Moon Crescent, and can also be referred to as the Moon Goddess. In different traditions, the Queen of Heaven, or aka the Moon Goddess, can be illustrated standing on a Moon Crescent while crying or holding a cruciform rod. Additionally, the Queen of Heaven can occasionally be adorned with horns upon her head, which also denote the lunar bow. This same goddess is called by different names by contrasting nations. The Phoenicians call her Ashtaroth or Astarte. In the Assyrian culture, she is known as Ishtar. The Romans called her Diana. The Sumerians knew her as Inanna, while the Greeks dubbed her as Artemida and Selena. So knowing that, 
I must pose an important question. In our modern day, how can we recognize the worship of the Queen of Heaven? So that not only this our craft is in danger to be set at naught, but also that the temple of the great goddess Diana should be despised, and her magnificence should be destroyed, whom all Asia and the world worshippeth. And when they heard these sayings, they were full of wrath and cried out, saying, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. The crescent moon is the most important attribute of the Queen of Heaven. And saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry, And when they heard these sayings, they were full of wrath and cried out, saying, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. But they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased, and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ preached against the cult of the Queen of Heaven from the very beginning. And it came to pass, as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. But he said, Yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God, and keep it. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. In Orthodoxy and Catholicism, Mary, the mother of Jesus, is falsely known as an eternal virgin. This is a very blasphemous doctrine that evolved out of Gnosticism. Now the word Gnosticism is derived from the Greek root Gnosis, meaning to know or to have special knowledge. However, Gnosticism was one of the first false doctrines that the early church battled against. Among a multitude of other heresies, the Gnostics promoted Docetism, which is the belief that Jesus Christ was only a spirit and came to earth in a phantom body. In essence, the Gnostics believe that Jesus only appeared to be human to his followers. This is a great error. Let's see how the apostles of Jesus Christ confuted and rebuked this Gnostic fallacy. 
Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, for have ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. This is very important to take into consideration, because the idolatrous teachings of Gnostics state that Christ only appeared human, but was in fact spirit, thus keeping Mary a virgin and blaspheming the fleshly birth of Jesus Christ. By believing in Mary being an eternal virgin, the Catholic and Orthodox Church is therefore under the spirit of Antichrist while keeping the Gnostic doctrines alive. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God. And Jesus standing on the right hand of God. And Jesus standing on the right hand of God. And Jesus standing on the right hand of God. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. The occult deception of God being a woman is a blasphemous lie. Biblically, we are told to pray to God and to God only in the name of Jesus, Christ, and the Holy Spirit. But sadly, in the Catholic and Orthodox world, many are taught to pray to anyone other but God. Let's take a look at the differences between these modern man-made churches and the way of Jesus Christ. We all know Jesus was a friend of publicans and sinners, according to Matthew chapter 11. While Patriarch Kirill, who is equivalent to the Pope in Orthodoxy, is a friend to politicians and top elites. The Orthodox and Catholic churches have befriended and became the very world leaders who persecuted our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. These New World Order churches are very corrupt and completely unbiblical. Both the Catholic and the Orthodox churches are spending millions of dollars every day to sustain the old temples and to build new ones, which look more like king's palaces. While the Pope is being pampered, hundreds of millions of kids are starving and dying of various diseases. This is not a museum, it is a treasury where the precious things meant for the Pope are kept. And most of the things here are still being used by the present Pope. These are finger rings that were used by different Popes. Then here we have the pectoral crosses, which the Pope normally wears on top.
Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go, and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come, and follow me. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. My people have been lost sheep, their shepherds have caused them to go astray. Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. In all your dwelling places the cities shall be laid waste, and the high places shall be desolate, that your altars may be laid waste and made desolate, and your idols may be broken and cease, and your images may be cut down, and your works may be abolished. Now that you have seen the truth of the Catholic and the Orthodox Church, you will be able to see the worship of the Queen of Heaven has always been right in front of your face. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. 